Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will see how to add uh, your team members in a bulk manner into a team. Uh, usually what we have to do so far is we need to of course uh, create a team and then add the group members one by one or otherwise uh, we need to of course pass on the team code to all of the students and then uh, we should be able to uh, bring them back to in our team right uh, now uh, of course there is another option to do that uh, in a very pretty easy manner using something called uh, Azure by the Microsoft let's see how to do that so I, I have right now I have a Microsoft Teams open here what I have to do here is let me go ahead and create a new team here uh, of course I want to create a class team so if I create a class team like this and I can give a name so me yeah I need to create one for my MSC course let me create it for MAT105017 um, yeah description is optional I leave it uh, blank here and create get and uh, hit next and after creating next then it is asking you to add the student teachers etc uh, but I'm not going to add it anything right now because anytime you want to add this then you have to add one by one if you choose the person which I'm not going to do it so I'm going to skip this process I'm going to see what's happening here so this is just having a team and if I go to manage team I have members it's just only me and there is no other members here okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the list from my department uh, the students list for this particular course or if you are having uh, any other uh, uh, website or something like that like what we have you can download the uh, student list along with their Microsoft team ID right so you should have the institutional email ID uh, I have here in my uh, Excel file open here so if you see that there is a email ID school etc everything is there what I'm concentrating on is this just only the email ID so keep this ready so I have all of them just here there is 56 students here just I'm keeping it ready uh, what I have to do at this stage is just go to this portal called uh, portal.azure.com just to this portal.azure.com I'll give the link in the description if you can uh, take it and then copy and paste it over there uh, that will ask you to of course sign in if you are signing it for the first time so just go ahead and hit sign in with your institute name and I have signed in over here now over this place now what you have to search for is something called Azure directory Azure uh, active directory uh, then this way we are going to of course add all the members over there uh, now if you are not able to find it over here something close to this if you are watching it in the future or something if they change this then it should be either available over here on this uh, sidebar just by clicking on it over here something here or even if you are typing it over here let's say suppose directory just typing directory under the services it should be Azure Active Directory so I'm going to click any of any of this place just uh, click on that and then that should open up your uh, particular domain over here right now vat.ac.in which is where I am and then uh, uh, it should give you the overview of all the uh, Azure portal over here correct uh, we are not what we are interested in something called groups just go to the groups uh, you know already that each team you create it is actually creating an office 365 group uh, so that's what we are going to make use of it uh, now if you see that what am I going to do I created a team called MAT5017 correct so if you notice the team here that's that is you can see that and that is this and then the email ID for that group is MAT5017 at vat.ac.in right so this is very important and easy uh, to send the mails to all the group members and the owners so hit on this uh, group and that opens the group here and here if you notice this is again the overview if you notice that we have only the one user and there is no group attached to it nothing else there is only one owner and then there is no members over here correct now what we want to do we want to add more members so just hit on this members in the site uh, navigation over here and that should show you the members now what we want to do we are going to go to this bulk operation and there is something called import members remove members and download members so if you hit on this double download members then it will download all the members over here if you want to remove the members you can again upload the uh, list of people who want whom you want to remove the members and uh, remove them and if you want to import the members you can just uh, hit the import members over there right so just uh, hit on this import members and that gives you three step process one is you can download the CSV template optionally 
and you can edit your uh, csv file and then uh, you can upload the csv file that's what we are going to do now so since we don't have any csv file as far as i have actually i have an excel file over here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to download this template okay so just to go ahead and download this template now if i see so in folder that has to, okay now what we want to do is we want to open this uh, .csv file in any of the text editor which we have in our laptop uh, probably if you are using windows then you have notepad if you are using linux then you have something called k8 or any other um, text editor if you are in mac again uh, you have the uh, text editors possible of course mac itself has one text editor that's all we want we don't want to open windows uh, word or excel or anything else just uh, text editors you know just right click and open with whatever the text edit you have uh, right now what i have here is my text editor is simply a text editor here so just open that and that has this uh, format so what we have to do here is we have to just uh, take the last line off and give the email id there so if we go to the excel file then the excel file has email huh? Don't copy the last first column, I means the first row. Copy only the email ID. So just take from here and hold shift and click on the last one. That should select everything from this to this. If you are opening it in Excel or anything else, just copy this and you come to this text editor and over here at the third line, don't remove the first two lines, just in the third line. Just remove the third line and paste it over there. That's all. So now pasting it here, what it is giving you is just the uh, email IDs in line by line. So all this comma separated file, each line represents one row. So we have only one column, so there's no comma there, that's all, okay, fine. Uh, you can even delete the last row and bring it to this front one. And if you're finding any gaps in between, then delete that as well, okay, means empty rows can be easily deleted. So now let's go ahead and save this file, this file and save it. Now it has been saved as, uh, under the download button itself so i'm not going to save it in a different manner or something because i'm not going to use this anymore else now go ahead to this uh, azure directory now i have downloaded the file and i've also edited the file let me upload this view. so just go to this choose csv file go to the documents i'm sorry uh, i think it is in the downloads downloads and there is the csv file okay just hit in the open and that file uploaded successfully just hit submit just for a wait for a few moments uh, what this is going to do is this is going to identify your students list one by one and it's going to identify whether it is in the uh, microsoft database or not and apart, uh, after that it is going to add all of them in the list we're going to just wait for few seconds and then it will be added quickly okay so this way what we can do is we can add uh, our uh, complete list of students uh, just at one one go correct uh, this is very important to add them by ourselves itself because if you are passing the team code then there is a chance that they might pass the team code to any other students and they may be uh, using it to join in our class which we don't want it. okay fine like you can see that the message called is uh, succeeded and file is ready click here to download which we don't want to do it obviously and close this button and click on this refresh here so if you click on refresh then that should show you all the students whichever has been now we have passed on now if you go to the overview of this uh, group now we as i said 57 direct members in that one owner which is uh, which is which is uh, me and i'm not sure why this group memberships goes zero let me go ahead and check that is it added uh, everything in the let me refresh this is it adding everything in the mem uh, team owner or something? No, I don't think so. Should be adding it in the members. Yeah, I have only one owner. That is very clear because uh, it shows owners is one and direct members is 57, which means 57 minus one is 56. So, so all the other 56 is uh, uh, members of this particular group. Okay, um, where is it? Teams. And this is the team. I click on the manage team. That should open the manage team, and that shows, shows that uh, that shows that members and guests is 49, which is a wrong count. I'm sure that's a bug from the uh, team side. I'm not sure why it shows. Yeah, I usually face this problem. Okay, this is not the right count. Uh, the right count is over here at the Azure directory, which is 57 minus 1, which is 56. 
All right. So that's how you add all the students in a single shot in your uh, Microsoft Teams account. Again, if you want to delete some of the students, let's say suppose some five students you want to delete it, then you do the same process. Just uh, make the CSV file, whatever we have here, is only those five students. Let's say suppose I want to delete all of these five students over here. Just uh, uh, delete them. Uh, just give their email IDs like this. And then go to this Azure directory under members, and then uh, click on the bulk operation and remove members. And again, the same directory, we have that template, of course. And you upload this uh, particular uh, CSV file, whatever we have here. So this will delete the uh, one, two, three, four members from this. So just go ahead and hit that, and that will delete the members. All right? OK. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video is super helpful, just go ahead and uh, uh, click on the subscribe button and also like button, and share it to your friends and teachers, whoever is in need of this. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.